In today's video, let's see the fire hazard management on chemical tankers, fire hazard, a fire necessitates the presence of all three of the following components, 1, oxygen, 2, fuel, 3, heat source, considering that there are three requirements, the fire triangle is a practical way to illustrate them. Fire prevention measures and procedures are implemented to ensure that the three fire requirements are not present at the same time. A flammable cargo is one that can be ignited and or burned. Many chemical cargoes are combustible. The degree of fire threat posed by a chemical cargo is determined by its composition, flashpoint, flammability limits, and autoignition temperature. The flashpoint of a substance is the lowest temperature at which it produces enough vapor for burning. A flammable cargo is defined by the IBC code as having a flashpoint less than 60 degrees, but greater than or equal to 23 degrees Celsius. The boiling point is the temperature at which a liquid's vapor pressure equals or exceeds air pressure. Causing the liquid to produce vapor, the graphic depicts the flashpoint and boiling point of several items. Flammable gases or vapors are only flammable or explosive to a limited extent. A gas-slash-air mixture is only combustible if a flame can spread across it without the addition of external energy. This graph depicts the lower flammable limits LFL, and upper flammable limits UFL, of a variety of items. These limits, also known as explosive limits LEL, UEL, are determined empirically. A substance's autoignition temperature is the temperature at which combustion occurs without the input of external heat. A flammability chart specifies the LFL and UFL for a certain product. Below the LFL, the combination is excessively lean and combustion is impossible. Above the UFL, the mixture is too rich for combustion to occur. However, great care must be taken here since dilution in the air can put the concentration within the explosive zone with all of the associated risks. A chemical's fire and explosion data is listed on its material safety data sheet. Burning chemicals, it is the vapor emitted from the liquid cargo that burns in any burning process. Not the liquid cargo itself. When flammable vapors are mixed with air in specific proportions, they ignite and burn. Certain cargo vapors can burn even when not coupled with air. Combustion is a chemical reaction that happens between the gases produced by the liquid and oxygen. The flammability ranges of various compounds vary. The amount of oxygen available influences a product's flammable range. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video.